Hello everyone. In this video tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to formulate uh, tables in the uh, SPSS and uh, how to include the uh, uh, subtotal in your uh, table, most especially if you're uh, working on the uh, like a scale, how you need to put a subtotal in your table to be able to give you the subtotal and uh, how to include the uh, uh, percentage uh, frequencies in your frequency table. So it's such a simple process. I'm going to demonstrate uh, how it goes. So what you need to do is uh, you click on uh, this icon analyze then uh, you go to tables then you click on this icon formalize table okay uh, let's assume that uh, yeah uh, the, it will show you this uh, type of uh, template so let's assume that you want to create uh, a frequency table of uh, this uh, theory construct you click on it and uh, move it towards uh, the template then uh, you leave it here here you have uh, a preview of the table but you could see here you got only the count but there is no uh, percentage or rather the subtotal so how do you uh, customize uh, this uh, table so that you can be able to have a, a subtotal as well as uh, the percentage uh, frequency so what you need to do is this and you click on this icon which says uh, summary statistics then you go here this one says count a row percentage column percentage you want it to be if you want it to be uh, on the in columns or if you want the percentage to be in columns then what you need to do you click on this column then you click on this item and you move it to this place then don't forget to click on this icon say apply to selection then you can close it for you to be able to add subtotal, I want a situation, for example, where by uh, this uh, there should be a subtotal below uh, the strongly agree. So there should be a subtotal for each category. So for you to do that, you click on categories total, then. Uh, you go here, you click on add subtotal. Then uh, a window of this nature will pop up, then you, you click uh, continue. Here we go, the subtotal is added, but it's not in the right place. It has to be below uh, strongly agree. So what you need to do is, you need to move it down. How do you do that? You click on this arrow, just like this. Now it's in the right position. So the next step is for you to click apply. All right. Now you click OK. Right. So here we go. We have uh, the table here. These are the responses, the P 
pay arrow one is the construct these are the responses for example the arrow two, the arrow three could be construct of quest questions. Let me say questions, right? Then uh, these are the responses. So, if you desire to format this table, it can be formatted. And how do you do that? If you want to put the borders, or rather, if you want to uh, bold uh, certain uh, words, here, yeah, it can be done. So, how do you do that? What you need to do is we'll click on this right then uh, it will take you to this uh, type of window whereby you can uh, follow the instructions here to customize the table for example if i want to uh, board some of uh, the words here then what i need to do is this okay for example count right then uh, column number uh, the questions as the case may be then if I want to make the subtotal board you can click on it as I'm doing now and follow the same process which is very easy then okay now you click on B now let's say if you want to uh, include the, the border lines or if you want to border it then you click on this border for example if i want to put uh, make sure that I put the outside border so these are the different uh, borders you can put for example i want to include many of uh, many lines horizontal vertical inner outside and then whatever so what i need to do is I click on this and uh, uh, press down the shift button if i want to select all then yeah all are selected then i need to go down to this uh, click on this icon to define the, the type of line that uh, or the type of border that I want to use and uh, let's click on this right so having done that then we can close the, the window here we go you see it is well uh, formulated right here you got the lines different uh, border lines so it appears much more better uh, than before so this is how to carry the this is how to do the process if you want to uh, include the border lines so that is the end of my presentation